guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i created my christmas giraffe so I've, i'm using a size 8 brush here to get that medium bead uh, and i'm just scaling this um, part out this is his face so the two side bits there will be where his eyes are the little bump on top is what separates his um what would you call them horns hoofs i don't know those his little sticky uppy bits <laughs> so so yeah so i'm just placing this bead down mapping it out i'm not worried about the height yet because i will be adding on top i'll also be adding his neck piece in i did pick up a big bead for his neck which it wasn't necessarily needed so I did take some of that away and the product and the colour that I'm using today they are all glitter bells and this one is caramel nude absolutely love caramel nude So here you're going to see me putting that second bead on top just to give it that height because obviously it's a 3D so we want it to look 3D, we don't want it to look flat. Next I'm going to be creating his eyes, so here I am using carbon black and I've just picked up a relatively small bead um, and I'm using my 3D brush from Glitter Bells and I just want to create his eyeball which are, they are quite dark so I'm just using black. Then I will do exactly the same on the other side. For the base coat underneath the giraffe, um, I used Snowdrops White and then I went over that with Bright Blue from Glitter Bells. making sure that they're all again people don't know um, I use odorless monomer and it has to be cured in a lamp so I have to flash cure in between uh, sections that I do so in this bit here this is creating his eyelid and that bumper bump over their eyes I'm going to do it the same to the bottom of his eye. I'll add an itch then, itchy hand. I think I only show you one eye because I'm doing exactly the same over the other side. So, yeah, it is, I'm quite certain it's only the one eye I show. So here I've took a really wet bead and I'm just going over the surface of that just to blend those areas in um, that I've done over the eyes just so that everything's nice and smooth. So 
now I'm using a medium bead again and this is going to create his mouth. So this is like his, his upper lip and part of his nose. And we're lifting that little bit up because obviously he's going to be cheeky, he's going to be sticking his tongue out. And then I take a small bead just to create that bottom of his lip. I should have done that first to be honest but I found it easier doing it this way. And now I'm going to do his nostrils. As you can see there, now he's got his nostrils and all that. Now I'm going to give him his tongue. And that I am using, I think it's Holiday Vibe. Yes, Holiday Vibe. Again, it's from Glitter Bells. And we want to make sure that we put like a little line down the centre of the tongue. And bring it to a point because they have got really long, pointy <laughs> tongues. Here, now I'm doing the ear. When I started doing this ear and I wanted to get the point here, it looked like I was creating Spock from um, Star Trek. Probably not many of you know who Star Trek is or oh, Spock. But yeah, I'm just creating his ear. A bit like creating petals. And I was out of shot um, doing that ear. I tried to stay in shot all throughout the video and then just that one ear and I was out of shot. So, yeah. So now I'm just creating those bumps on his head that normally have the little bits of brown hair on. I mean, I don't know why I'm creating two because one gets covered anyway, so I should have just not bothered putting that in, just wasting product, really. So, you know, if you are going to do this and you're putting a Santa's hat on top, don't worry about the one that I'm doing now because you're covering it anyway and you're not going to see it. So, why waste product? But if you're not going to put the hat on, then... By all means, add that extra hump in. So I am using hot chocolate now. Again from Glitter Bells. And then I'm just going to take my brush just to go through it a little bit. Just to give it the hair effect. But again, why i done it, I don't know. So now we're going to do is print. And that, again, I'm using hot chocolate. I'm just putting some random patches of brown on his neck and then around his face. Some are bigger, some are like little spots. So, it, you know, your ratio for your powder may be wetter on some parts or drier on others. That is just personal preference to yourself and how you work. And you, you, you know, you can put as many spots as you like. It doesn't matter where. You know, he's going to be your giraffe. All I ask is that if you do recreate, um, I'm going to call him Jeffrey, Jeffrey the giraffe, then, you know, just tag me in it, you know, you know, these days there's so many techs out there creating other people's work but palming it off as their own. And, you know, 
we put a lot of work into what we do and I know I do so yeah if you're gonna recreate just give me a mention you know because it, it you're redoing something that I created and you know it would just be nice and it'd be rude not to anyway so here now I am placing the cuff of his Santa's hat um, I am using snowdrops white I did try to get the effect of the ruffled fluffy fur but it wasn't that great to be honest and then once I've done that then I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to use red light district to create the rest of the hat and then a little bit of white at the end for the pom-pom So now I'm going to take a little bit of carbon black. I'm going to create some eyelashes. Um, so this is a really small, small bead. Um, you don't want too much. If this is too difficult for you to do, you can just paint some um, little eyelashes on, which is probably a little bit easier. I had to make things complicated. But yeah, um, the easier option is just to paint some eyelashes on because they do have really big eyelashes and then I am taking hot chocolate and I'm just going to do some shading And I think I'm going to um, get some bright blue and just go around around the giraffe just to it will allow it to stand out a little bit better just remember you don't have to use the same colors as me you might be using a different brand you know use the colours what are closest. Here I'm taking some gel white paint from Nalkami and I'm just giving him two little dots on each eye and that is him. That is Jeff complete. <laughs> 